everybody, welcome back to the Harmonica Barge. We are back on the boat today, we're out of the shop. It's cooled down a little bit on here, in fact it's it's raining a lot outside, it's pretty wet, but it's, it's not raining inside here, I don't think, not yet. I'm going to teach you how to tong block today. Uh, this isn't the only way, this is the way that I learned. I'm sure there's many other methods and you can use tong block trainers and uh, Sala tape on the harmonica covering holes and all kinds of weird and wonderful ways but I just want to show you the way I learnt uh, many years ago not that long actually but a few years ago and I did learn from a fantastic Tom Block harmonica player so he definitely knew what he was doing I'm just going to pass that information on so what is it when we Tom Block? We're essentially using our tongue it is what, what it says, tongue blocking we're blocking holes on the harmonica to leave other holes, okay? Sometimes we want to block holes and leave one, one hole. Sometimes we want to block holes and leave multiple holes. So the way I first learned was to play octaves, okay? What do I mean by an octave? We're essentially playing the same note but a full register higher up, or the notes vibrating at twice the frequency. Oh, too technical. Anyway, if you find a C on a piano, you know there's another C higher up, and another C higher up, depending on how many octaves your piano has. So that's what an octave is. It's the same note, but higher or lower. They're still called C, okay? And I'm gonna start by playing holes one and holes four together. How do I do that? You may ask. Okay, so I'm, whoa, you can hear the rain on the roof there. I'm playing out of each side of my mouth. What we're going to do is take the tong and simply place it, this is going to take a bit of practice, place it between holes two and three on the cone. Now at first you might have to really look at the harmonica and find two and three and then um, Place the tip of your tongue between holes two and three and then you're going to have a bit of pressure with the harmonica that's pushing against your tongue and that will widen the tongue out slightly and the tongue will end up covering holes two and three. And you may ask, well how do I know if I've got those two holes covered? At first you're going to have variations and you're not going to you're not going to be totally positive but eventually when you play you're going to hit an octave which is playing one and four together and you'll know because it sounds very sweet and nice it's very pleasing on the ears and you might be too far over to the right and just playing the four or the other way just playing the one or a bit of two or a chord but if you keep trying place the tongue between two and three if you keep trying over and over again no 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 Yes. Yes. And with any new technique, it's trial and error. You might do 10 attempts at first and get it 1 out of 10. And that, you might, that might continue for a week or so. But here's the part about being a musician. It takes persistence. Mostly stubbornness. It helps if you're really stubborn. They say 90% inspiration, 10% preparation. No, it's the other way around. 90% preparation, 10% inspiration. So tongue in between two and three, spreading it gently. So you're playing hole four out the right hand side of your mouth, hole one out the left, trying to get that octave. Now before you start moving the tongue, or doing any fancy blues trickery in techniques. Be 
before any of that, I would recommend just really trying to play that octave consistently like you first had to do when you learned to play a single note, you know, with a pucker or whatever technique. You know, you, you, you can't get it at first. You keep playing a chord and you keep refining your technique, narrowing your embouchure until you can eventually play a single note. It's exactly the same with tom block. You're just learning a new embouchure. Embouchure, of course, is the mouth position as the harmonica meets the instrument and trying to play that octave consistently. That's a 1-4 draw. I'll go back to the blow. 1 and 4 blow. There we have it. Okay, good luck with that. If you like the video, please leave comments, subscribe, and I'll be back with another tongue-blocking video very soon. Thanks, bye.